Oh my goodness, is he alive? That's like the biggest plane belly I've ever seen. Oh gosh, that's a giant. That's a giant, get him Jay. Fish on, that's him, that's him, that's him. Oh my. Big Boss has a little bit more worm on there. Can she do it? Oh, he's already on there. He's already on there. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay, and we're here to do a little hike down to a waterfall where we're then gonna do a little bit of fishing. We packed light though, I got this backpack. And if you look back there, the <laughs> micro rods are making an appearance again. It was actually about this time last yeah. year when we came out here with the micro rods and uh, caught some pretty big fish. And we're hoping <laughs> to do some more of that today. We're honestly just hoping that there's actually some water down there. Yes. I don't know if the waterfall's gonna be running or not, but we haven't had very much rain, but there should be some water. And there should be some fish and that's all that is important in the bag we've got some little jigs but we also have a bucket of worms which is probably what we're going to use first but uh to get down to the waterfall we first have to hike down this trail which is roughly a mile or so i don't know, I don't know how far it is i think it's about that far yeah. but it's an easy hike down but coming back up it's kind of tough you <laughs> know especially after like fighting a bunch of fish which is yeah. hopefully what we're about to do yeah. but anyways we're gonna get after it. we're gonna make the hike down we're gonna crawl around on some rocks hopefully avoid some poison ivy and hopefully find some snakes along the way too That'd be fun. Hopefully we'll, see, hopefully we'll see something cool. But anyways, if y'all are excited for today's adventure, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's see what kind of fun we can get into today. Let's go. Jay, we made it all the way down to the waterfall. There's a little bit of water falling. It's not a ton. It's not actually hitting the water, but we were looking down here. And if you look in the middle of your screen right there, that appears to be a rather large water snake. And I think that it's a plain belly. No, it looks like it. If it's a plain belly, it's a gigantic it is, one. It's huge. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch it or not, but I'm definitely about to give it a shot. Yeah. I think it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna go try to sneak up on it and try to grab it. Can do it it's you. I'm gonna try to sneak up on that guy. There's also, I'm not sure if you can see out here in the water, right beyond the rock, if you look in the middle, there is actually some sunfish just sitting there chilling. I bet that plain belly is hoping that one of those guys swims in front of his face. But we're gonna try to grab that snake and then we're gonna start fishing. And we also see some fish right there. There's a fish right there. And I'm sure there's some over there underneath the waterfall, but I think we're gonna start fishing here in this little shade area. I think if I was to fish in this bowl, I would be right there okay i've got about 30 feet i've got to cover without i'm getting spooked i think the odds of me catching this thing probably like 15 percent i want him just to tuck back up underneath a rock it's definitely a snake he's definitely big i'm just gonna try to sneak up behind him oh it's huge doesn't even look real Part of me wants to just dive on him. Doesn't even look really so big. Oh my goodness, is he alive? That's like the biggest plane belly I've ever seen. Got him. Got him. Oh gosh, he's big. <laughs> yeah, baby, he was so slow. Oh my gosh, what a giant. Oh my gosh, he is striking. Oh my goodness. Gosh, this thing is enormous. Okay, I gotta say, I feel like I could have caught that one. You probably could. He, he was, so, was slow. so slow. He wants to bite me so bad right now. Look at this thing. He is so mad at you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me try to grab him by the head. Got him. <laughs> Didn't even bite me that time. Look at the size of this plant. Oh, there he is. Yeah. There, they always get you like that. Every time. They always just turn and grab me. Like, if you grab them from above, they can't get you as quickly, but look at that thing. He is massive. Absolutely massive. I'm not sure if it's the biggest one I've ever caught, but it's the biggest one I've caught in years. So big, just huge. He's, there's probably a few other snakes living out here, but he's got all these fish to himself. These fish are unsuspecting. 
and he just has the opportunity to grab as many as he wants to out here, it seems like. The coloration on him, I don't, I don't know if you can really tell what it looks like, but down there, he has some crazy, like, blotching on the top of him. Aww. Look at his belly. Look at how vibrant that is. Super yellow. These guys we call yellow belly water snakes a lot of times also. These guys have my favorite scientific name, too, though. It's Nerodia erythrogaster flavigaster. Talk about a, uh, a tongue twister. <laughs> A lot of people think I'm making that up whenever I tell them that, but just so cool. He got me right there on the hand. He also musked me. I've got snake musk. I've got blood, but that's just the way we like it. We love, we love catching these snakes in these places like this, and um, maybe this is going to be a sign of what's to come. Maybe we'll catch some more, but hopefully we'll start catching some fish. <laughs> Look at that thing. He is so big. Look how Man, big I wish is. I would have caught it. I mean, he's got the physique of a diamondback water snake. Yeah, he you does. You guys know how much we love the diamondback water snakes, but he's... Three foot long, at least three foot long. Okay, let's take one last look at him at the release right where we caught him. Again, well, I'll take a snake bite for a catch like this any day. <laughs> it's so cool. And I'm all stinky now, but like I said, it's 100% worth it. We're gonna send him back right here. I think you can really see the colors on him too right here. You see that? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, we're sending him back. Oh. This water's so clear. I know. There he goes. Under the rock. That's probably his house. You're probably around top there of his house. Oh, oh wow. sweet. There he goes. That looks so cool. That is the slowest water snake I've ever seen. <laughs> probably because he's got a full belly. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. All right. We caught our snake. We did our hike. We found our waterfall. Now let's start catching these fish. They're just, they're just out here looking at us like we're about to feed them. It's like they want to be fed by us. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, we're busting into the bag and get our fishing gear out. We got the two micro rods. Jay, last time you used the spinning rod, last time I used the push button. Which one do you want to use this time? Um, I mean, if you wanted to mix it up, I can use that one, but I would personally pick that one. You can use this one. <laughs> I honestly like using the little push button. I think it casts a little bit further. <laughs> but that one has more drag power if you hook into something big. The last time we were here, we actually caught some really big fish. If you want to check out that video, we'll leave it linked. We're not going to spoil it for what exactly we're chasing after today, unless you guys already know. But they do eat these guys. Got a fresh thing of worms. Let's see if we can make some magic happen. Everything eats worms. Yeah, these are the best worms I could find today. Usually, you know, we're able to dig our own up, but it's been so dry I had to buy some. I was at Academy and every bucket of worms in there was rotten and dried up. These were the only ones that were like slightly alive. So these are the ones we're going to use today. I had bait me a little piece up on this thing. Here you go, JJ. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to get right to it. We got the micro rods. These were $10. We got these last year. And we haven't used them since last year either. And they've just been sitting, just tucked away in the corner. But I think they're still okay. I was pulling on the line to make sure it wouldn't just break instantly. These little fish are interested. I think that a lot of hikers come out here and they just feed them their trail mix. So they're probably used to that. Uh-oh. First cast. Wow. First cast. My drag. My drag. I can't get him in. <laughs> Is this real broken? We're going to need some drag. We're going to need some drag. Okay, I'm just going to try to hand line him a little bit. Here we go. We'll address it after we get this guy in. There we go. That shouldn't have been that hard to get this green sunfish in, but he went there and smoked it. I bet that plain belly water snake would like to eat this guy. Get him, JJ. Oh my God. There we go. Jay's got one daily doubles. Oh yeah. Is that a bluegill? Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Oh no. Can y'all twist it up? We're good. That's a good start right there. A bluegill and a green sunfish. Not our ideal target species, but stuff we definitely anticipated catching today. Oh, yeah. Let's send him back. Okay, well, I just took the reel apart to try to get it fixed where I could fix this drag, and it literally won't spin back and forth either direction. So, um, the drag is loose. If we hook anything big, we're gonna have um, we're gonna have some issues, but we're gonna try to overcome it. Jay is still good, so that's all that matters. As long as one of us is good. So we can fire up some more of these little fish. He's looking at you. He, oh, he bit your. Oh, there we go. There was a bluegill or something smaller that bit your sinker and that guy came out and oh, smoked really? it. Yeah, I saw the whole thing happen. This water is really pretty out here today. Oh, there we go, hooked up, hooked up. 
There we go. He didn't pull the drag. <laughs> Two daily doubles in a row? That's what I'm talking about. Two little tiny green sunfish. Yours is pretty average sized. This one here. Oh, it's oh, really oh. small. Here we go. That was a good trout release. Me. <laughs> a good trout release. Dang. Another one. Pulling the drag. <laughs> 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 That's so funny. Another green sunfish. We're going to fish in this spot a little bit longer. Then we're going to start hiking around, see if maybe there's some bigger ones hiding underneath the falls. Oh. Gotcha. That's a nice bluegill. I can't reel a bit. There we go. <laughs> what are you going to do if you hook into something big? I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. I might have to hand line him. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'm trying to figure out a cheat code, like, like holding the line to where it has like some tension. But I don't know. It's going to be difficult. But that is another nice waterfall fish. Or This is our, I guess it's, we won't be still only caught bluegill and green sunfish. But that's our biggest one so far. Nice male. Guys, there's a beautiful longer sunfish swimming in. I'm going to try to catch him. Oh, he's going to it. Oh, he, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, that giant green sunfish came and got it. Dang it. That long gear was coming to get it, and the green sunfish said, nope. Oh, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He's like, oh, he, why is he getting scared? There's no way these fish should be getting scared. Oh, he smoked it. Good job, Jay. Look how many are over there. That is crazy. Is that a long gear? Nope. Another green sunfish. The thing was so aggressive. how many were over there? Yeah, they went nuts for it. It's like 20. I said we're getting a new shade line. That wasn't there a minute ago, was it? No. Another nice green sunfish. I'm going to get back out there because I saw a ton of them out there. There's also a big, like, Ooh. megalodon looking. Sun oh, is it longer again? What's he doing? Oh, I scared him. No. That's the craziest thing. There's just a random, big, beautiful, long sunfish that's swimming up on the surface over there. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I'm under the tree. You still have the fish? Where are they at? In the shade. Oh gosh, that's a giant, that's a giant, get him Jay. <laughs> oh baby! That's a hybrid. Oh wow. Heck yeah, do you have a fish on your line? Yeah I do, I'm trying to reel them in, but oh, I'm, I'm okay. more interested in looking at yours. <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest one of the day so far. Yeah, beautiful hybrid awesome. between a bluegill and green sunfish, here we go. Hey, I have to like pull. There we go. <laughs> green sunfish, hybrid bluegill green sunfish. Two cool ones. <laughs> Ooh. I can't believe he didn't get smoked. Oh, there he, oh, is. There he is. There he is. A little guy. What a cool spot to catch fish. Look at, this, look at these rocks. Like, look where Jay is standing at right now. This Got is an awesome place. Big old rock bluff down here in the waterfall catch some nice green sunnies but we know for a fact there are some big ones that live here nice i'll call you the the sunfish queen <laughs> oh we got a bluegill entering the chat he's coming to look at it he's zooming oh he turned why did he swerve there he goes he thought he got oh it's a big it's a big long ear it's a giant long ear wow. it's a giant long ear i got my guy look at the colors on that thing stay on Got him. That is what I wanted right there. This is not the waterfall. What the heck? That was a leaf. <laughs> that was scary. This is not the waterfall monster that we're after. But this is so beautiful. You're not going to catch anything prettier than that. Guy. You're really not. Look at the colors. What you got? Nothing? No. Look at the colors on that thing. The blues. Look at the orange. You're not going to catch a prettier fish in the world than that, in my opinion. You can go to any tropical reef you want to and try to find something that compares to a long-eared sunfish. And there are some things that definitely compare to it. Not gonna, not gonna be dumb about it, but I mean, look at that thing. That is so gorgeous. And we're gonna send him right back up in here. All right, as much as me and Big Boss would love to just sit here and catch these sunfish all day, we've got some big monsters in this waterfall that we're looking for. So we're gonna go over here to the spillway, or not spillway, to the actual waterfall. Um, there's gonna be some fresh water getting pumped in over there. 
and there's probably gonna be a bunch of sunfish over there also but we think that that's gonna be the most likely area for there to be a big one we thought there'd be one over here in the shade but we just didn't we didn't see any of them most time you can see them swimming okay here we are there's the waterfall and literally right here in front of us there's like a bluegill nest there's like five or six bluegill bedded up right here it's very strange looking you can see them probably right there just chilling i don't know if they're gonna eat my stuff or not oh Wow, he took off of my bobber. That's crazy. You got him? Okay. Nice. It looked like you took off of my bobber. But... Yeah, it looked like you ate the worm and the bobber at the same time. You can't even gulp everything down. I was trying to throw out in the middle. That might be where the big ones are at. That makes sense. But I can't cast that far. <laughs> Let me get back to these guys. There's a whole... Look at this nest of fish right here, Jay. Got you. Stay on there. There we go. First fish under the waterfall. Another green sunfish. I saw a couple of big long ears over there too. Still not seeing our big fish. It's got me a little bit concerned. I know. How about you? I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned. Normally we that see. That one's beautiful though. Any? Yeah, orange fin. I know. A beautiful orange fin. It's got some good blue on him. But normally by this point, you start seeing the big guys that live down here. And we just have not seen any of that yet. Usually it's a combination of our baits being in the water and then like all the commotion of the fish splashing around is what draws them in. They might not exist here anymore. All right, it's getting hot out here. The bite's still pretty hot. So I think I'm gonna cool off under the waterfall and try to catch a fish. Hopefully I won't slip and fall. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's very slippery over there, I know that. Yeah, but I bet it feels really great underneath the waterfall. Oh yeah. It's not as hot today as it has been here in Arkansas, but it's still pretty warm. All right, you're under the waterfall. <laughs> oh, they're coming. You got him. 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 First cast. You did it. You know what kind of fish you caught? Uh, I caught a green sunfish. Green sunfish. Can you see it? Yep, I can see it's it. It's not that big. But it still counts. First fish under the waterfall. my first cast. We are under the waterfall. <laughs> Can she get another one? There he is. Oh no. Oh yes. It's a big one. Let's see it, big boss. Oh, another hybrid. That thing is beautiful. I can't see this. <laughs> That's a big one. I so much water in my eyes. You... <laughs> nice one, Jay. Fun. This is the way to do it. This is the way to waterfall fish. Woo! Oh yeah. Easy money. Woo! Nice one, Jay. That's a good one. <laughs> no nice green sunfish. If, if only we can catch our monster fish under here. Yeah, that would be epic. Big Boss has a little bit more worm on there. Can she do it? Oh, he's already on there. Oh he's already on there. The bite is hot under the waterfall. <laughs> they can't sense you up underneath the waterfall. In stealth mode. Pretty green city. can hear me so loud. Nice. <laughs> All right, we're leaving the waterfall hole as much as we don't want to. We're gonna hike around over that way because most of the time when we've caught the big ones, they've been over on that side of the pool. Maybe for some reason that's where they're hanging out today. We thought we would catch them right here, but it just didn't happen. So if it's gonna happen, it's gonna have to happen over there. We caught a lot of fish, but we're starting to run out of time down here. And Big Boss is ready to catch a big one. I can just tell. We gotta do some hiking first. Jay, do you think there's actually still some monsters living down here below this waterfall? I really don't know. I'm hoping that 
hopeful there's at least one. <laughs> <laughs> there should be at least one, but we haven't seen any yet. That's just crazy to me. Yeah, usually it's the first thing you see because they're just so like, I mean, you just see them. They're just right there in, right there in your face. Okay, hey, we're gonna try about this big rock right here. Psych. Gotcha. Gotcha. What are you? He's a hard fighter. It's another big bluegill. Look at that thing. Yeah. Look at that one. He's, well, he's not that big. I say he's big. He's not that big. But bigger than what we've been catching. We'll take it. Jay's got a rock. <laughs> this looks cool with the waterfall behind you, Jay. Oh, oh, you're about to catch one. Uh, there he is. Oh, got him. Is. What is that? What is that? What is that thing? Oh, it's a green sunny. Yeah. Dang. I thought that might have been our guy for a second. I know, he was fighting really hard. Still a good one. <laughs> Alright, we're hiking down to our last spot in this hole. We've covered the whole circumference of this thing. The spot we're going to is where we always usually start at. And usually I always catch the big ones, so... Hopefully, it won't let us down today. You feeling lucky, Jay? Feeling lucky. Just feeling lucky. There's a haze on the water over here. You can't really see what's down there. I see a green sunfish. That's to be expected, though. I see a couple of them. We're going to post up here on our little lucky rock and see what happens. That feels big. <laughs> that feels not bad at all. That's oh, a big green sunfish. Get up here. I got my drag tightened up a little bit now. So whenever it starts pulling out, I get excited. Over on the Lucky Rock, and I think it's my biggest green sunfish of the day. Still not seeing our mystery fish. I'm beginning to think they may not exist in here anymore. Either they swam out of here during a flooding event, or maybe somebody came down here and, and caught them and kept them. I'm not sure. We're going to make a few more casts and see if we can't maybe get lucky. Another one. <laughs> when you throw it right up on the shallow rocks, they come out and smoke it every time. We've been making a lot of casts out in the middle. Trying to find a big one out there, but I just keep getting tempted to throw over there. That's another beautiful green sunfish. He's got some really bright scarlet fins. Look at those fins. Love when they have those white tips and that back fin's got that black spot. Such a beautiful fish. Out here below this beautiful waterfall. Doesn't get much better than that. Okay, we're gonna try one last thing. I've got the bobber set as deep as I think I can cast it. And we put a whole entire night crawler on there. And we're gonna send it out there into the middle. I got it set probably about four foot deep, maybe. It's over 10 feet deep out there, but if one of these fish comes out and senses it, he'll come up and get it, for sure. We're gonna give it just a minute. Oh, go. That didn't go very far. <laughs> oh man, micro rod problems. Let's try that again. I need a fly rod. I'm gonna send it out there. Let's try it again. Ah. Fish on. That's him. That's him. That's him. Oh my god, it freaking worked. Oh, he broke it. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no, it worked. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, he broke the hook. Dang it. <laughs> How big is that? How big is that one? Did you get our guy? Oh, it's oh, I like that one though. That thing was spicy. He was all the way out there in the middle. You guys, we're trying hard to catch our big fish, but we are just running out of time and running out of bait. That's another pretty long eared sunfish. I'm pretty sure I hooked up with one a little bit ago. And you blew it. I think so. <laughs> What's that fish doing? There he is. Big boss in the house with another monster. I got a bite. I don't know what that is. 
he's not big <laughs> despite my drag noise he's not big but it's good for another daily double we're trying to get the big ones we're trying to get the baits out there down deep these green sunnies are just ruthless all right guys well we hate to say this we did not accomplish our goal of catching a waterfall monster today. <laughs> but we still had fun. We had fun, we had fun, but man, this is the first time we've ever come down here with the intent to catch this fish and uh, and not hook up with yeah. it. And for those of y'all, y'all probably know what kind of fish it is. It's a catfish. It's a big old channel catfish. For whatever reason, this place has some big old channel cats. And I'm <laughs> just gonna put my eye. There's some big old channel catfish that hang out here down below this waterfall at times. So believe it or not, you know, it looks low right here, but in the springtime we get a lot of flooding water and this actually flows all the way out to the Arkansas River and it kind of restocks itself every year or they even maybe come over the top of the waterfall. I don't know. And normally you'll get down here, you'll just start seeing them swimming around out here in the shallows and you can put a bait in front of one of them and they'll eat it right off the bat. And that just wasn't the case today. All we saw was a bunch of sunfish, but at the very end, I cast it out in the middle and I'm pretty sure I had one hooked up for a minute and he broke me off. Yeah. My drag system on my little uh, $10 <laughs> push button micro rod failed me terribly. So I think next time, we come out here, we're actually gonna bring a little bit better gear. Not much better, just a little bit better. We don't want it to be super great, but something that can actually handle these fish and not yeah. get broke off. And also give ourselves a little bit more time. Because I have no doubt if we were to stay out here another couple of hours, we'd probably get another chance at yeah. one or two. But we also ran out of worms. So that was our other issue. We used the whole thing of night crawlers. More worms and more time. Next <laughs> yeah, more worms and more time. But that's gonna be it for us this time. Like Jay said, we had a great time out here. Caught a lot of fish. We could have caught as many fish as we wanted to. We also caught a big snake and we got oh, yeah. to enjoy the wilderness around us. I mean, look at this place, guys. It is just beautiful out here. And I got to catch a fish under the waterfall. You got to catch fish under the waterfall. Like the waterfall just beaten down. <laughs> yeah. So that, that was awesome. Yeah. So that's definitely a big win in our book. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for us. We're going to make the hike back up to our truck and head back to the house. So if y'all enjoyed the video, do us a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. We're Colin Jay, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, Bye guys.